You know, it doesn't mean learning is over for students. It's really important to keep their minds active, although school is not in session. And we've got Augusta University's Andrew Kemp to here to tell us a little bit more about that. So, what, you know, what are some ways to go ahead and keep kids learning this summer while school's out? Absolutely. I think a lot of times parents do worry about their kids, you know, getting lazy over the summer. And I'll tell you, as a former high school teacher, mm -hmm. when they come back, there, something is lost over the summer. It's amazing how many times I would have students that would, I'd leave in the, uh, at the end of the spring, mm -hmm. and then I'd come back in the fall and we'd start talking about something, and they're like, I've never heard of that before. And I'm like, we did it two months ago. Oh my gosh. With me. And it happens a lot because, you know, summer, you need to give the brain time to rest. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you do need to do things to keep it active. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of doing things to keep things active, we're going to have a little fun here, all right? So you've got some techniques, you've gotten some things mm -hmm. just that you found yes. really around the studio. Let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, I'm perfect. ready. We're going to have some fun here. Yes, and the thing is, is uh, one thing that I don't think schools do very well mm -hmm. is uh, work with creativity. So okay. make summer a creative time instead of just working, you know, getting kids workbooks and stuff like that. The brain needs time to rest. A couple of things you can do. One, do art projects. And a lot of parents worry, but I don't have stuff like that. I don't have anything in my house to do that. Yeah. I wandered around the studio for a little while, <laughs> and we have, um, we have some Splenda packets. I'll need that we, later. Yes, we have some stirring straws, some post-it notes. Okay. We have some coffee lids. Yeah. And what you can do is just take things around the house and just make art out of them. Okay. Okay? And they can just be two-dimensional. You can lay it yeah. flat. But the key is, is when you get done, then you can take and take pictures of it and post it to social media. You can make it the background, your wallpaper on your computer. Sense. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> and you can take any of this stuff and just build things. But when yeah. you're working with your child, mm -hmm. the important thing to do is ask why they're doing things. Mm -hmm. It's not just about piling stuff together. So exactly. if you were my child... I would say, that's really interesting what you did. Why did you pick those four colors? Sure. Okay, well, we have about 40 seconds left, and okay. you wanted to do something really fun with me. So Absolutely. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Yep. And another thing that you can do is this is a great game. I teach improv, mm -hmm. and one of the things you do, it's called um, story one word at a time. Okay. And you basically make up a story, but you're only allowed to say one word. So we're going to start once. A. Pawn. A. Time. There. Was. A. Small. Chicken. <laughs> running, yeah, but see, I'm and then wrong. the story gets the road and it got. Don't get sad. You don't have to go <laughs> there. But you see, and happy, the thing, happy, and it got happy. And so, but that's it. And you don't even have to be sitting to do this. You know, you could be w walking around the house, mm -hmm. doing dishes. The child's there, and you can just mm -hmm. make up these stories. And what it does is it gets the child to think about syntax and diction without having to think about syntax and diction. Mm -hmm. They have to put a noun in there, but it doesn't have to be about being a noun. Exactly. Well, I want to thank you. This is such a fun segment. So thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Definitely we'll have this on our website, wjbf.com. Thanks for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. All pleasure. right. Well, coming up next on Good Morning Augusta, emoji expansion. We're going to have more on new symbols that could be added to your favorites when we come back right after this quick break.